What's happening? What's happening Tuesday evening? Is it Tuesday evening? Monday evening? I don't know what evening it is. Tuesday evening. It's new, new uh, Christmas Eve. I need to restart this one. I just came off the top. The top rope incorrect. But it's Tuesday evening, Christmas Eve in um, many places. But I'd like to say happy and Merry Christmas to my New Zealand family. They are already celebrating Christmas in New Zealand. I'm so excited about talking about New Zealand because hopefully, hopefully in the next few weeks, I will be there. I will be there in New Zealand uh, sharing some of these gifts that the Creator has given me. 15 more minutes to celebrate on the East Coast and three hours and 15 minutes to celebrate on the West Coast. But I'd just like to say to all those who are who celebrate, who are excited about tomorrow's day, it really doesn't feel like um, Christmas, though. Hey, Cheryl, what's happening? How you doing? Definitely, I'm going to give you a call. But, um, yeah, it doesn't really feel like Christmas. It feels like it's a regular day of the week. You know, everybody listens, you know, listens and waits for, you know, all of the Christmas festivities. Uh, people have trees up, houses are decorated. But, you know, is that snow type thing that you miss. But when we talk about what is really the most important thing, we know a lot of people are getting ready for uh, 2020. That's the big conversation. 2020. What about 2010? What did you do in 2010 that changed from 2020? I just want to know, are you ready for 2020? Because, see, um, we still have seven more days. One of the things that I just like to share, I'm trying to keep this real positive, but one of the things that I have to share, which is a reality, is that uh, some of the biggest days that uh, tragedies do occur are on Christmas Eve, Christmas Day, New Year's Eve, and New Year's Day. And during that whole week-long time, it's probably one of the highest rates of uh, tragedies that do happen. And it's based on the fact that, you know, people in reality, what they do is they, they, they remember their loved ones, they remember that... You know, it's been a tough year. They want to talk about how I'm going to start the new year. But it all starts with your wellness. And, uh, yeah, my little bro watching. I thought he was in the bed. It's, oh, yeah, Austin and Bird, they don't work anyway. They don't do any work. But, uh, yeah, said little bro, uh, RNS for life, baby. You know how we do. So this is one of those those videos that I'm just going off the top tonight. Usually I don't see people because I'm not wearing my glasses. And uh, But tonight I am wearing my glasses. But I just really called to talk about holiday wellness. Now, wellness is not just uh, making a resolution and then going to the gym for a week, and then after that week realizing that your, your, your schedule has changed and now you can't get to the gym. Wellness is about a life-changing activity. It's a lifestyle change. And so what I really want to talk to you about is um, lifestyle change comes from many facets of how you change your whole mentality. And like I talk to you all about what I do is the seven senses. So I talk about your, your taste, your, 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 your sight, your hearing, uh, your touching, uh, your, your humor and your intuition and all of those particular things that really contribute to your wellness. But one of the things that most people do know is that I'm involved in a plant-based or plant-based uh, organization that uh, really uh, changes the way that you indulge and in how you put things in your body. But one of the things that's really going to be very, very valuable is that on Thursday evening, the day after Thanksgiving, which is the day that most people consume a lot of food because they're with family and they're eating things and everybody says, oh my God, I don't need to eat this, but I'm going to try it because it just looks so good. But yeah, it looks good. Everything that looks good is not good for you. But what we're going to do is try to give you some information. I don't know. Um, sometimes I've been talked to people about possibly uh, trying the product and people say they just don't have the time. You know, it's just not in their, their plan right this, this, this moment. But maybe if somebody else shared with you what things have occurred while they're involved in that, then you might see it a little different. I know sometimes, uh, you know, friends don't believe friends because... Um, that's just the nature of the beast. But maybe if somebody else shared it with you. So I want to share this conversation, this Zoom call that's going to take place on Thursday, the 26th 
at 6.30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. So that's 9.30 p.m. Eastern Time is 8.30 p.m. Um, Central Time. But if you have an opportunity, it doesn't cost you anything. It just costs you the, 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 the 15, 20, 30 minutes that out of your life that if you were really seriously considering uh, a lifestyle change in your health. And the reason why I say that is because most people, 90% of people who make uh, uh, New Year's resolutions is all about your health. I'm going to do this. I'm going to lose weight. I'm going to get my sexy back. I'm trying to get ready for the summer. I'm trying to get ready for this. Well, if you, if you say it and you don't believe it and you don't have a plan of action, then it won't happen, right? So I'm just trying to tell you what's really, what's really, really going on in here. So going forward, but uh, let me tell you about this this Shred 10 conversation that will be taking place the day after Christmas, the 26th at 6.30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. I'm going to give you the information. I really want you to put this down. I want you to share it with friends. I want you to get on. I'm not probably not going to be on because I don't want to interfere with what you're trying to do. But if I, but if you are looking seriously at, at changing your lifestyle and your diet and your habit, not really your diet, but your what you ingest, right? How you invest in what you ingest. Uh, it might be of value to you. So 6.30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 8.30 p.m. Uh, Central, I think that's that's that time, Central. But it's, uh, write this down, www.zoom.us, www.zoom.us. Now the ID number, 951 Two two nine fifteen thirteen. Once again, nine five one two two nine fifteen thirteen. Nine five one two two nine fifteen thirteen. That's the ID number to get into that call. Jump in on that call. If anybody asks you how you heard about how you heard about the call, just tell me you heard from the great King Rory T. Edwards Esquire on Christmas Eve. All right. So check that out. Check that out. But we're talking about wellness. We're talking about keeping people around for a long time. For those of you who are listening, uh, you know, I care about you. I hope you're around for a long time. Definitely want to see your smiling faces in the new decade as we move forward towards unbelievable outcomes, unbelievable outcomes. But you have to be able to have the energy. You have to be able to have the vigor. You got to have the the um, strength. All of those things, you have to have the mental strength, you have to have the physical strength, you have to have the spiritual strength that's going to get you to what your goals may be. All right, moving forward, we're doing big things, you know, Rory T. Edwards is on the move, but definitely, hey, next time I talk to you, it might be from Wellington, New Zealand. If it is, I'll bring you something back real nice. How about that? All right, so the next time until we talk, we have a very, very Merry Christmas. Let me see how many minutes you have. Oh my gosh, you have about three minutes on the East Coast. I want to say Merry Christmas. Bust open the presents. Wake up the children. Tell them that you did what you did to make sure that they had this amazing Christmas. We have to also eliminate the myths. Eliminate the myths. It's you who worked so hard to get your children and grandchildren or whatever you, uh, your loved ones, the things that they uh, requested. All right? Do what you have to do. But do it in love. All right? Until we talk again, you all be blessed. Merry Christmas. I'll definitely talk to you before 2020 comes in. Maybe go on with pop a few, you know, pop some bottles or something. But we always going to keep it, like my little brother said, we're going to keep it R&S for life. You be well. Uh, Merry Christmas. And also to all my people out there, happy Kwanzaa. That starts on Thursday the 26th. Please celebrate Kwanzaa. But don't just celebrate Kwanzaa. Practice the principles. Practice the principles. Be well. Be blessed. Put God first. And I guarantee you'll never finish at the end of the race. You all be blessed. All right. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Hey. Oh, one more thing. You can send my present to www.rorytevers.com or send me an email. Uh, Rory T. Edwards 1 at gmail.com. I'll accept all presents via the email. I don't need anything but your blessings. That's all I need. Because you know what? God got me. He got me. All right. You all be blessed. Love you. Love you. Love you. Love you. Who loves you, baby? You know how we do. You all be well. All right. Take care.